So we're going to start off by chaining a multiple of 20 stitches plus one. So in this particular case, for the purpose of this demonstration, I've cast, I've chained 41 stitches. In each one of those stitches, so I've already done that, so you didn't have to watch me chain 41 stitches. You're going to take the first stitch and you're going to elongate it slightly and remove the crochet hook. And sorry about that. And in that loop, you're going to insert the US 17 or 12, a 12 millimeter needle. And then the easiest part, and then I got this from the Turkish demonstration video, is with the knitting needle between my legs like this, in the first stitch, you're going to insert into the stitch, pull out an elongated loop, and loop it over the top of the US 17 knitting needle. Again, you're going to insert into the next stitch, and for all, for 40 of the stitches, 40 of the 41 chain stitches, you're going to insert your crochet hook, loop an elongated loop over on top of your US 17 needle. Okay, so now what we have are 40 stitches and one chain stitch remaining on the uh, on the list uh, on the chain of uh, on the row of chain stitches. That last one, we're actually going to start the foundation row by inserting into our needle into the stitch, looping around, and pulling up an extended length of stitch, approximately the same diameter as the stitches on the needle. And we're going to do kind of a, a single crochet into it. And then you're going to loop your needle back into the yarn that you brought up for that single crochet. Pull your yarn through again and do another single crochet. Basically, we're just securing our first stitch so that it doesn't shrink or get any smaller. And so basically what we're going to do is, in the first five stitches, we're going to do single crochets into the top part of the stitch. So that's one, and we're inserting our crochet hook as if to knit, two, five, and then we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then do the same five single crochets into the next five stitches again. One, two, three, four, five. And then the next 10 stitches, we're going to move off onto our crochet hook. The next 10 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I do that as if to purl. It's just a little bit easier. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull that yarn all the way through those 10 steps and the loop on my hook. So it's just a slip stitch. And then again, we're going to repeat what we started with. We're going to single crochet into the top of the next five stitches. One. single crochet into the next five, again inserting your crochet hook as if you were going to knit the stitch. And single crochet. Last 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10 stitches. We're going to move off onto our crochet hook and slip stitch those all together in a gather. 
this is the only time you'll do this foundation row uh, or this sequence of stitches per se. Again, yarn over and pull that through all 10 stitches and the one on the hook. So you're just doing a slip stitch. So in essence, we've got this already starting to, you can see, ripple a little bit. And then we're actually going to without turning our work, we're actually going to move this first stitch, this first slip stitch, onto the size 17 needle and then turn our work. Tighten that up a little bit. And now the next row is going to be a matter of pulling up 40, 40 more loops. We've already got one loop and we'll put on 40 more loops, again by tucking the needle in between your legs. Helps a little bit if my yarn's back here. So, in this one, in each of the, these are the five single crochets here, we're going to pull up, extend a loop, and put it over the tip of the large needle. So that's one, oops. So those are the five single crochets. And now we have the five chain stitches, the, the space caused by the five chain stitches. For that, we're actually going to do a single crochet into that space and then extend that stitch and put it on that, 10 times. So single crochet, extend the stitch and put it on. That's two. single crochets we're just going to insert our yarn in the top two uh, loops of that stitch pull through an extended stitch and put it on so that's ten and we're going to do ten of those that's one two three What you're going to see is kind of an extended loop where you do the slip stitch for the the ten rows to uh, the ten stitches together, but that's your fifth one, and then slipping skipping that stitch, going to the next first crochet single crochet. That's six. Seven. Eight. And again, in the five chain hole that you created, you're going to do ten single crochets and extended loops. One, two, three. Last five single crochets. We're just going to pull those, uh, pull extended loops through those, those five single crochet stitches. And again, if you can see this, it's a little hard to see, but I'm actually putting it through the top two loops of the stitch of the single crochet stitch, pulling that through, and making an extended loop. Two. 
to. Oh. Five. And now we have our last little stitch over here, the, the 41st stitch in essence. We're going to loop our yarn through that one, or insert our crochet hook into the top two loops of that one, pull through an extended stitch, and again secure that, that loop by doing a single crochet into the top of it, and then into the yarn that you pulled up, insert your crochet hook, pull through your yarn again, and loop through in another single crochet. That basically just creates a secure loop that doesn't lose down. Now, we've just created the, the first foundational row of the, of the stitch pattern, and then created the 41 loops on top of that to create the second and all the remaining rows. So all the remaining rows will be as the same as it'll go shortly. Um, so that foundation row is only done once, and then every time thereafter you can do it this way. So those 41 stitches, I just take off the knitting needle and put my knitting needle away. And into the first five, I put them onto my crochet hook and I do a gather stitch by doing a slip stitch. So I put the first five stitches and pull my yarn over and pull it through those five stitches and the one stitch on my needle, on my crochet hook. And then I do five single crochets in the top of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. I do five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Five single crochets. And then I do the next 10 stitches in a gather stitch. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I put all 10 on my crochet hook, yarn over, pull it through those 10 stitches and the one on my crochet hook for a slip stitch gather. Then I do 5 single crochets again. That's one, two, three, four, five. I do five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Five single crochets. five and then there should be five more loops or six more loops left because we had the extra one so you're going to put all six loops onto your crochet hook yarn over pull it through those six loops as well as the loop on your hook and that is the standard row that you're going to continue to create so we'll go back a, we'll extend this loop put it back on the needle, create 40 more loops onto the needle, and then go back and do the exact same row over and over again, where it starts off with five gathers, five loop gathers. This is the five loop gather right here. Then five single crochets, five chains, five single crochets, a 10 gather, five single crochets, five chains, five single crochets, and then your last gather will be just the five or six gathers in this case because you're going to gather up the six stitches that are on there. And it will continue to create this nice ripply lacy fabric. Any questions feel free to leave it in comments here on YouTube or um, and I, I'd be glad to answer them on YouTube um, or feel free to leave it on the blog as well but most of the people that watch this on YouTube will want to see your comments or questions as well so feel free to leave them here and thanks for listening.